But I tell you, there are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. There comes a time when the blank, the blankness of future is so extreme. It is such a black wall of nothingness. N- not even of bad things. It's not like there's a cave full of monsters that you're afraid of entering the future. It is just nothingness. The neon, as the French would say, la vide, the, the void, the emptiness. And it is uh, just horrible. It's horrible to contemplate uh, a futureless future, if that isn't too impossible. Um, and so you just want to, to step out of it, to step out of the, 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 the whole race, the whole business. The, the monstrosity of being alive uh, overwhelms you. I thought, what kind of purpose do I have to live? I mean, do you, are, are you just here to live, to die? I mean, is there not a purpose for me? Is there not a purpose in life? And I had questions and no answers. And I asked my mum and dad, why did this happen? I asked doctors, why did this happen? They, they don't know. There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change and you've got to live with. The choice that we have, though, is either to give up or keep on going. The very first thing I want to offer you is empathy. I understand that the feeling is real. This idea that you want to just do an end, put an end to the entire game of life. So, beyond my empathy and my care for you, my heart going out to you, I want to offer you this, that there is a law. There's a law in nature, which is that of seasons, right? So, in the winter time, it's cold, right? It's freezing fucking cold in the winter time, especially if you live in, like, the north. And it could be so cold that you're miserable. If a man was so cold and miserable that he decided that perhaps I should kill myself because this freezing cold misery is not worth living in, someone might offer him the idea that or remind him of the law that, dude, this is, like, you've got maybe another six weeks, you've got maybe another eight weeks, and then spring's coming, man, it's just the way it is. Things cycle through, it's just a season. Right now, I understand it's freezing cold, cold and you feel horrible, and you feel pretty bad about the situation, but hang in there. 70% of illnesses on the planet, all kinds, are self-created. You are able to generate substantial amount of intense emotions and thoughts, but in the wrong direction. You are generating thoughts and emotions which work against you, not for you. You think it's your right to throw tantrums? You think it's your right to get angry with people? You think it's your privilege to be depressed so that you'll get attention from somebody? You keep playing this. One day you will not able you will not be able to turn back. How did I get from depressed to who I am today? Because I tell you I was depressed. When I was age eight, I used to concentrate on the things I didn't have. I wish I had arms and legs and I wish I could do this, but what can I do? You see, I have a choice, and that's what I want to talk about today. Choices. I can either be angry for not having arms and legs or be thankful for my chicken drumstick. You see, I can still do a lot of things. At home, I can brush my teeth, comb my hair, get myself ready in the morning. And I'm traveling around the world. It, it's, it's amazing. Happiness is a choice. That is what I want to live my, my life by. You can't always be happy. Listen, I know. I'm not, I'm not crazy. I, I, I realize the realism in always being happy. Sometimes you have to put up with some crap in your life. But if you are always striving to choose happiness, every day you wake up and you say to yourself, you know what, I am going to choose to not let the outside influences of the world affect my mood. I am going to be in charge of how I feel because I am going to choose happiness. I promise you, you will live a lot happier life. And at least, at least you can try to, right? You just have to set the necessary conditions for health, necessary in- incentives for health. 
both for yourself and your children if you have that. Do not set incentives for sickness. I felt depressed, I felt miserable, I felt at times where it may be better to take my life. But with the wisdom that I gathered in my 33 short years of life, I've come to realize that it's just feeling. And in the same way that feeling cold is diminished, the misery of feeling cold is diminished by the insight that spring will come, is the same feeling that you should acknowledge, the same law that you should acknowledge, that no matter how miserable things are right now, it is just a season, it's going to pass. The thing that keeps one living is a sense of future, that there will be a tomorrow, and tomorrow I've got to do this, and then the day after I've got to do that. Not that any of these things have a particular logical purpose or a convincing reason to exist, but they somehow keep one going. In, in the words of Dorothy Parker, a, a, a great um, wit and writer and poet, um, you might as well live.